Hello, I'm Alex or Squadlum, and I'm going to be showing you today a patch or preset I've made. Um, basically, what it does is it takes the frequency information from one audio input and it forces that onto the EQ of another audio input. Uh, it's hard to visualize, but I've got two demonstrations that show pretty well how it works. Um, and I've never. I've never, uh, I, I can't think of a, a VST that does this already, so, um, you know, I thought I'd give it a shot. And if you'd like to use it, it's uh, available as a download in the comments or description of wherever I upload it. So we're going to be using Ghosts and Stuff as a reference track, uh, which sounds like this. So it's a perfectly normal track. Um, and what this does is it takes a pink noise channel, or I've set it up to take a pink noise channel, and as soon as I apply the effects, none of the audio from ghosts and stuff is going into this uh, processing chain. It's all just the frequency information, which is... Um, analyzed here with 21 different bands throughout the frequency spectrum and that all goes into peak controllers that pass that information on to this EQ which is perfectly matching the frequency information from the original song. And so what you're hearing is actually a pretty impressive uh, model of what the actual track sounds like. And um, this is this is boosting. I can bring it back down. This is not doing anything at all. And I can subtract also from the input. So now it's like a frequency-specific sidechain. And you can see that here, it's just cutting out everything that the song is um, using. So that's one example of uh, what I'm doing here. Um, let's see, I'll turn this down. So I've got another example here. This is, uh, say, a producer thinks he's making the next masterpiece. But uh, his kick and his bass are in the same frequency spectrum. So since they're competing, he can try and use this preset to make them fit a bit better. So basically, the way that you do that is you'd sidechain what you want to cut from the uh, signal to the signal. And then you open up a patcher and uh, load the preset. Presets, user, conform. And it's all right here. You want to set it up so that the sidechain input, it should be right here in outputs audio. Your sidechain input should be right there. And then you can drag it onto sidechain audio. And then uh, basically what that does is it analyzes the kick frequencies and then it applies whatever you want to, uh, whether you want to boost it or cut it, it applies that to your audio. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it. It's very subtle, but you can hear the effect that it has on the um, bass input. And what you can see here, it's cutting out those very specific kick frequencies. So it's basically like a very specific sidechain. Um, and you can do the opposite. You can boost it if you'd like without the kick. It sounds like this. So what's what's happening is is basically boosting the the base of the base, and it sounds exactly like the kick because it's using the kick's frequencies on top of that. So. 
It's a, I, there's a couple applications I can think of for this. Uh, like if you wanted to make something sound like it's kind of vocal, you can take some vocals and put them on an instrument or something like that um, and boost the cue so it sounds like it has the formance of a vocal. Um, yeah, I'm not very good with computers, so this might not be the most efficient way to do this. Uh, if you think you have a better way, you are free to modify it and then distribute the better version. This is, I guess, open source. Um, and if you don't want to do that, but you'd still like to see this improve, uh, you can give me feedback. I'd really appreciate some feedback on how this could be made better, um, either more efficient, uh, less processing power, or um, some different feature that I could try to implement to make this even better. Uh, once again, the download link is in the comments or description of the video, and yeah, uh, feel free to play around with it and see what you think.